Hey everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. We are at our pool. <laughs> or, I mean, it looks like a pool. It's actually going to be the motor shop. It's the beginnings of the motor shop. So we are getting that going this episode, hopefully. And because it's fixed, miss, we are still drinking our eggnog and peppermint Kahlua. Cheers. It's not really, like, game-themed, but it is in a fixmas mug. Or fix-it mug. So, I mean, that's kind of themed. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, also, I noticed... There is a fixmas bar here. Which is very convenient. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm choking on my eggnog. So yeah, we can build the uh, fix mystery, it looks like. Now, we are still turning gifts into branches over there. So we can go back and get this tree set up in a moment. For first, though, I want to keep working on this. Now, this motor shop, just like all our other uh, production stuff, it's going to be multiple levels. So we're going to have one motor assembler per level. And then, um, let me think about this for a second. We're going to do this the other way around. So yeah, we're going to have one motor assembler per level, and as we require more motors, we can build additional levels, mirroring the levels below them, basically. It's sort of the plan. Uh, let's... You know what? Let's do this like this. That should be plenty of space. Okay. And then we're going to have two rotors and three staters. One, two, three. Yeah. And we're going to have our um, little area in the middle here. Or, sorry, little area in the middle. This is going to be like, um, just for accessibility purposes. It's nice to have a little bit of extra room in your buildings to work with. Alright. So let's put another level here. Because we are going to bring power in. And you're also on this episode gonna go down and see the hellscape that is these item tunnels where all our parts and stuff are coming from it's um it's it's a challenge which is fine i'm fine with the challenge it's certainly not a very efficient way to move things around but i mean it looks kind of cool this is or this was, I should say, my temporary encased beam storage. So that can go away now. Now that encased beams should be going that away. Which they are. Alright. So give me some power. Can you connect to that? Please? Yes. Alright. Come across. So let's get this set up. This is going to be motors. You are going to be my alternate rotors. Now we're absolutely going to end up with like way too many rotors and stators probably being made. If we're doing an overkill by basically... Well, it's 100% overkill for rotors. More than 100% overkill for rotors and 50% more staters than we need, but... That's fine. Everything's going to the awesome sink, so... They will be put to good use. That is not a merger. That is a merger. And we can use tier 3 belts for... Or tier 1 belts for all this. Cool. These are going to be my staters. Alright. Um, now, actually, this is where I want to do things 
slightly different. Okay. Oh, this is a merger. Never mind, that is absolutely correct. Uh, in here is where I want to do things slightly different. Do I? Do I want to do things slightly different? So I want to have smart splitters that prioritize the machine getting the equipment. Oh, this is a super inefficient way to do this. Oh, you know what? I'm committed. <laughs> We've already started doing it. Let's just keep going. Oh, okay. So we're going to make sure that the... Oh, crap. This is going to be in the way, too. Hmm... We want, what do we want? I want to move everything over one is what I want. Okay, let's do that. And that's why we leave extra space. So. You are my motors. You are my rotors. Okay. Oh god, I screwed it up already. It's my first one. Okay, let's try one more time. There we go. And, but yeah, we'll get back to that. Okay, so now we don't have these here. Whoops. Okay. We can keep that door because I can put my walkways in there. That'll be fine. And you are going to be all my staters. All right. Is it raining? No, it's just very noisy out. All right, so staters, yep. Uh, copy and paste, paste. You are my rotors, my alternate recipe though, okay. Cool, and you are motors, very nice. Now. This is the part where we gotta figure out how this is gonna work. Because I need here. I need splitters saying if there's an overflow to split off that way. But how are we gonna do that? I guess we're gonna do it like this. We just gotta make sure we have this set up correctly. So, the correct setup is any to the left, none to the middle, overflow to the right. Yes. Now this one, the input is at this side. And we want overflow on the left, Nothing in the middle and any to the right. Okay. Very nice. Um, something is not correct. Oh, that's because, okay, I see. Let's try that again. I want my input this way. And there's a reason. Okay. None. Overflow. Any. Cool. Now I'm just going to set up one level of these for now because I think that'll be fine for the time being. Um, and then after that, 
we can add on more levels as we need. Right now, the uh, the rotors or the staters, excuse me, are the important item that we we really need to get going for our um, our space elevator parts. So that's kind of why I'm doing this now. But it will be nice to also have motors going for when that time comes. Let's go on the back wall actually with the power. Yeah. That's two. Two. Wait. Is there six of these? Yeah, that's right. Alright. And two here. Good stuff. And I realize this the motor is facing this way. The output is probably gonna curl around that and go out that way. Come on. Come on. Get in there. <laughs> I don't know why I have so much trouble getting these to link. Getting this hitbox. Come on. Yeah. Alright, you need... Well, I got lots of this stuff. So let's get these going. Oops. I should probably actually put it in. Uh, well, I said I have lots. I don't have as much as I thought. So, give me that back. Let's split you. Cool. Rotors are copper sheets, which I don't... Oh, and screws. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, it's still good. It's still good. We can still make this work. I need a screw machine. How many screws do we need? Um, 195. That's a lot of screws. Okay. Screw machine here. This is gonna ruin. I might still be able to sneak a belt down here. Okay. And this is going to be my alternate screws. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to have... space... or belts. Large enough belts to support these. Not for a little while. Well, we can get this going. Oh, you're probably going to need power too. Alright. Now we got a bunch of stuff to haul over here. Staters are going there. Very nice. I was going to stick some of these in. Oh, did I not connect the screws? Oh, this is a... Oh, God. Oh, actually, I wonder if I could just... I probably could just change that. It was the wrong type of uh, splitter. It was a smart splitter. I probably could have just updated it by holding it on. By, like, putting the thing over it. Is that something you can do? Yeah, you can totally do that. No, well, maybe not. Okay. So like if I want to change this to a smart splitter, can I just oh, okay, no, it doesn't work like that. Never mind. Cool. Now this. 
this is also going to be a splitter right here. Um, where is this stuff coming in from, though? I do not know. We should probably figure that out first. Your sheets, your wire, and pipes. Okay. Maybe what we want to do is bring this stuff over first. I think we do. Uh, let's run back this way again. And let's escape through here. So I feel like this is probably the tunnel we're looking for. Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, this is rather large, so we are going to need two. A two wide setup here. I can't wait to have blueprints and then I can have these tunnel sections pre made. I don't have to <laughs> make mistakes like this. One more week. One more week. And then everything's gonna be golden. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go right to this rock. This seems like a good ending spot. Hello? Could... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, um... The other thing I meant to mention in the last episode, actually, but clearly got distracted. Uh, the lights. I was struggling, or I couldn't figure out why... If there wasn't an option to change the light color to like uh, the color of your choice rather than just like the uh the eight or however many they provided you i was i was watching oh god just line up why can't you line up as i was watching the previous footage it looks like you totally can make your own and you make your own by clicking on one of the pre-made options and editing it. Now, I haven't actually tried that yet. That's just kind of how I'm guessing it's going to work. But I do want to go do that. Oh, you're going to be in the way. At some point. So I do want to start doing more stuff with lights. So, we will look into doing that at some point as well. Because I don't actually need these here. Alright. Now, you I do need here. So, if you could just attach the way I would like you to. Yeah, just like that. Uh, I need you. And I need you. There are some other modifications I've made to some of the buildings and stuff as well, but we can check those out when we get there. We're not in that area as of yet. I made the... Um, Caterium foundry and um, Caterium wire production area a little nicer. Put some walkways around the outside. Made it a little more accessible as well, so that's something we can check out at some point. Do I want this? I'm, well, okay, let's see. Because I'm going to have four belts coming up here. I need these. I need both of these let's bring these first these are easy because they're here and I need um, steel tubing where is the steel tubing why would you go that way we're gonna have your time 
20 minutes. Okay, steel tubing is, I do not know. I do not know where I put it. You know what? Let's just do this now. We're pretty sure we're gonna need to do it like this. So let's just do it now. We got a lot of belts coming up here. Now here, oh, there's my, <laughs> it's right there. That's very convenient. My pipes. Okay, you. We want these steel pipes, or uh, steel beams, excuse me, coming out this way. So if you give me a splitter, that is not a smart splitter. Right here. Okay, that's beams. And this is beams here. Cool. And this... This is my pipes and this is my beams. Alright. There we go. Now we just still do have... A mild, uh... Steel shortage. Just in terms of, like raw steel input, but right now we are limited by our belts. Because we're limited by coal. Because we only have that one close coal node. And it's only providing 270 per minute. So as soon as we upgrade our as soon as we get our next level of logistics, I should say, we can upgrade our belts and get some more coal and stuff going. Now, coal is going to continue to be the limiting factor. Um, I talked about possibly getting um, a second coal mine and truck and station and all that stuff set up and running, which I'll probably have to do, but not yet. That's for later. Now, how do we want to do this? Let's do this like this. Oh, this isn't going to work the way I want it to. Um, or will it? Maybe will. Let's try. Before I get all sad and disappointed here. Okay, give me a door. And give me some of these. Yeah, we're totally not going to have space for this. Uh, we can figure something out, though. We can make it work. We can make it work. Alright. Let's do that one more time. I'll make sure it's going the right direction. Thank you. At least I caught it this time. Before hooking the belts up. I mean, that's, that's a slight improvement. Alright, sweet. 
So, this is my beams. Now, because this is going to be vertical, and I'm going to add on more floors in the future, I am going to need a splitter here. Um, I split it here, actually. Yeah, maybe here. This could get changed once we... Okay, good. Uh, or do I want to change it now? Yeah, once we start adding on more floors, it might end up being changed a bit. Nah, eh, we'll see. Now, this stuff is going to be tricky as well. Because it needs to go... Let's work, let's work from this direction. You guys want wire and pipes. Don't we all? And you want sheets. Let's do the sheets first. Because I feel like it's going to be a little bit easier. Give me a splitter right here. Okay. Cool. Now, the sheets... Where are the sheets? I bet you they're not on the one we want, Mon. Yeah, I would rather these be opposite. That is unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, first off, let's fix this. Because that's not going to work. No, we need lock, uh, mark one. Yeah. It's like this. Mark ones. I don't know why I didn't go this direction in the first place. Who knows? Okay. You're making screws, right? You are, but you're full. Um, I would like some more metal plates while I'm here. Thank you. You are my sheets. Oh my god. This would be so much easier if I could just split them. Hmm. Or not split them. If I could change, I'm gonna have to change change where they are. This is not gonna work. Okay, it, it's got to change. It's too awkward. Now, how are we gonna change this? Um, go down maybe. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, they're they're where they gotta be. I mean, that's a plus. I was talking about bringing the motors out this way, but I'm beginning to think that might not be such a hot idea. We will see.
Sheets? Nice. Alright, well, that should be staters. Or rotors, excuse me. Let's figure out staters. Now I'm looking here. I want to try something. I think this is how we want to do this. And then we can bring the motors here. That can be the motor output. Probably doesn't need to be five. Unfortunate. I guess. Okay. Now these should not be too difficult. One, two, and one. Yeah. Maybe there's some way that doesn't look ridiculous, but I don't think that is in the cards, unfortunately. Like, if I could bring him through there... Nah, let's go this way. So actually, this is probably going to end up not being a door. The door is going to be... Oh no, that's, that's my column. Um, alright, well, it is what it is, and it's not the way I wanted it to be, but it will work. The conveyor belt is too long. Of course it is. Alright, so give me one of these. pool again. I think that ladder can go right here. Woo, we're going over time. Um, I'm going to get these plumbed in the rest of the way. You kind of know how that goes with my double stacking uh, splitters. And uh, when we come back, we will do something else, I guess. Maybe see about running some of these items back to where they gotta go. I'm thinking I might actually... I might redo this, these splitters, and have them come, like the output be over here on this side. That might be the right answer. But um, yeah, find out in the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot, and we will see you next time. Cheers.